Hey guys, uh, Pepper Madness uh, coming at you here today again. Uh, got a bit of a, a lightning show happening outside and it's raining and uh, well lightning's to the north of me, the rain's right here again or still I should say. I uh, just thought it was time I did a video on uh, on something a little uh, more geared towards prepping bushcraft kind of thing. I did want to do this one outside uh, but again the weather <laughs> so anyhow here it goes uh, what I'm gonna do it on here is uh, is some navigational tools that I use uh, and I'll uh, it's not a product review it's just the things that I use okay guys well, let's get on with it all right right in front of right in front of us here we have a uh, we have my map case okay uh, I went and picked this up at the uh, Army Surplus store called Sea Barbs, in case any of you people are watching or from around the Edmonton area. Uh, good little shop. Got lots of lots of nice, small, uh, inexpensive stuff in it. Uh, Alright, so anyhow, as you can see on the inside here, it has uh, it has two, uh, two parts here uh, that are plastic coated uh, to carry your maps in. Uh, and you can, of course, use a non-permanent uh, magic mark marker to, to to mark your roots and stuff like that. I'm not going to get in on how to do stuff. I'm just showing you my my, my stuff here. Um, it's a good solid bag. Uh, this is my second one, actually. I uh, I lost my <laughs> I lost my other one last year. I don't know where the heck I went. But anyhow, yeah, you can see it uh, clips up nicely on the on the sides here snaps in like this it's got a carry handle just like a uh, uh, just like a briefcase and it's also got this way here which I think uh, this is the only drawback that I have with it uh, I think that it should be on the other side up here where this little handle is because uh, yeah but I guess the reason for that is just to keep all the uh, to keep all the little pieces of sticks and leaves and and any dampness getting in while you're while you're carrying it like this rather than have an open part right here anyhow moving along so uh, a couple things that I do that I do like to put in there I like uh, I like to pack a little thing of stick it notes and uh, I'll uh, uh, some sometimes if I'm in a uh, a newer area I'll I'll, uh, I'll just uh, put a stick it note right on top of the clear plastic here because obviously you're only using one one part of the map right here and another over here so yeah anyhow and I make a few notes uh, you know on wildlife that I've seen or uh, or where I've stashed a bunch of firewood for a future camp uh, things like this okay uh, of course, I bring my I bring my radio with me. Uh, this uh, this little Motorola here. Uh, you can get the weather stations and and uh, and alerts and stuff like that on it. So that's a handy little thing to have. And and also uh, where I usually go where where I usually go is to the north of me. And uh, the land, uh, pardon me, the elevation rises as we go. So I get a little bit more range. I can go about. Uh, best I've done is around 12 miles with this little thing. Okay, uh, moving along. Of course, uh, of course, I pack a lot of uh, a few different kinds of maps with me. I don't know if you can see that. There's quite a bit of glare. Uh, this is a uh, a wildlife management unit map uh, for the province of Alberta. It. Uh, it breaks up the uh, province into the different into the different uh, areas for for hunting and of course uh, the different regulations. Whoops, wrong. <laughs> and I stuff that thing. Well, this one's different. Okay, here we go. I stuff this. I stuff this on the left hand side. So when I open up, it's on the left side, along with my sticky notes. They go in here, and then of course, uh, 
I've got a uh, I've got a laminated I've got a laminated road map uh, which shows all the uh, core cities and and uh, large large ge uh, geographical features in the province and it's laminated so I, I I never open it up and put it in here I can just open it up wherever I'm at and take a look and I can make little marker notes on it and stuff I had to buy a new one because I wore the other one out <laughs> and I've, I carry a few small pamphlets here too with me um, that I occasionally I occasionally look at if I'm just stopping and having a bit of a break uh, this one here uh, this one here shows all the constellations at the different times of year and and your relation and and in relation to I also put them right in this part here I don't know if you guys can see that very well I'll tilt my camera down as I'm doing this there we go all right and uh, I got a nice little uh, another pamphlet here it's on uh, it's on knots and stuff. I know most of them. Uh, some of them are a little weaker on, uh, but it's uh, it's a nice little reference thing to have, especially if uh, if you have somebody with you who's uh, who's fairly green, and uh, you go, hey, I want you to tie a I want you to tie a bowline and a bite here on this part of the rope, and they can they can take a quick look at it uh, ahead of time if they're having difficulty with how I show them. Of course, uh, I really like this one here. Um, although I do know most of the tracks, <laughs> probably 90% of them in here. <coughs> uh, it is just a nice little thing to have. Take a look once in a while. You look at a track and go, "What the heck is that thing?" Right? Or how many toes does that bear have again? <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Uh, of course, I also throw in my. Uh, my back road atlas. I have one for, uh, pardon me, I have one for BC and uh, for Saskatchewan also. Uh, I don't throw them all in here at the same time. This is not a school bag. And that goes right here in this pouch underneath underneath the, uh, underneath the my main map uh, thing there. Uh, something too to, to, to be carrying is a, is a, is, is a journal. Um, I like to uh, uh, like, like when I have a bunch of sticky notes on there because I don't necessarily drag out the journal and start writing right away. Uh, I'll take a look at my sticky notes and uh, I'll put my I'll put uh, uh, a longer form, more detailed form of the of the notes into uh, into my book. All right, like the names of the creek, uh, the uh, the route and how I got there, bearings. Land features, uh, stuff to avo uh, places to avoid. Um, like I will not go through here again. <laughs> uh, that kind of thing. And just for just for giggles, I, I like to throw in because there's always something a guy can learn. Um, I like to throw in my uh, I got a little uh, survival guide in here, a little survival book, and uh, I found this one to be quite a quite a good complete book so we'll put that in there it goes right to the bottom so it keeps this uh, keeps this nice and square and hard uh, and of course of course I uh, I have my I, I have my county to topographical map which goes which goes in here and I have two more two more county maps which go in here for adjacent counties one to the south and one to the north of me uh, I'm not going to put them in right now because I don't want anyone to see uh, which exact county I'm in and stuff. Whatever. <laughs> uh, call me paranoid. Uh, something else that uh, that I like to throw in is a uh, is a magnifying glass so I can actually read uh, some of the small print and uh, details on on these maps. Uh, excuse the banging around upstairs there. <laughs> this this is an old house and. It's all it's all wood construction, so everything creaks. Uh, okay, <clears throat> now something that I've seen Canadian Prepper talking about before, and at first I was a little, you know, I was a little skeptical, you know, from uh, a disaster, you know, EMP kind of point of view. 
but you know the chances of that are happening are fairly are are are, are fairly low. Um, although it is something I do prepare for, uh, and that's using your your iPad or your uh, Android or uh, iPhone uh, with Google Maps to help you around. Um, I I actually went out and tried it a few times and uh, I like it. I really do like it. Uh, okay, and uh, and with that, I have a little I have a little case here. Uh, wife bought for me here. It's camouflage, uh, which I don't really like all that much because if I set it down, then I'm out six hundred bucks. <laughs> so that just fits in there and zips up nicely. Okay, and of course, got a little pouch right here where I put where I put in my pencils. And uh, any other little odds and ends. Uh, I have a glow stick that I like to use for light. Uh, a, a, a little caution when uh, reading a, a map off of a uh, uh, by the light of a glow stick or or a uh, or a flashlight. Don't use a red lens. All the all the contour lines, which are a brown color, disappear. You you you, you just can't see them. Okay. Uh, and even some of the roads and trails, which are in a brownish, uh, orangey kind of color, they disappear too. So, uh, so st st try, try, try to stay away from uh, from red light when you're when you're uh, doing your map reading. Okay. Oh, it fit before. Okay. I think I done something wrong here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I put everything else in too soon. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, that goes in. Now, generally, with all this stuff in here, um, uh, this is just this is just for like a, a you know a bit of a day hike or or a couple days or whatever. It is a good little kit though to have. Uh, in a bug out type situation. All right, all this goes in here, nice and easy. Okay, she closes up and snaps together. I'll put that over here for now. Now a few other things that I, you know, like the the meat and potatoes of navigation. Actually, let's lift her up a little. Okay, so what I got here is. Uh, uh, I, I, I had a I had a leather uh, a leather uh, harness maker guy make this for me, and a couple of the pouches here too. So what I have in here, I have my uh, my range finder. Okay, it's a very handy little tool. This one's a Simmons, I believe. Yeah, this one's a Simmons. This one's a little Simmons. Uh, very little handy little tool for guesstimating your distances. Uh, I still do a little bit of pace. Uh, I still do uh, my pacing and stuff, though. <coughs> and that's what this string here is for. Is uh, every, every, every time I hit a hundred, a uh, hundred, a uh, hundred yards in pacing, I tie a knot, and uh, and I just keep going until I've until I've reached until I've reached where my bearing took me and my point of reference on my bearing, and then start all over again from there. Um, right here, this is a brand new pouch, so it's a little stiff. <sighs> my other one was too big and sloppy, and this thing, just, and my compass just kept banging around in it. Uh, all right, so here I've got uh, I've got the Silver Ranger compass. This one's a new one because my my old one, the mirror, the mirror gave out on me after after just about 20 years. <laughs> This one here is, uh, is graduated in mils rather than uh, rather than degrees. I do have I do have the identical compass uh, also that's uh, that's in degrees. I, I uh, just prefer the mil system because the uh, the math is so much easier with it. Okay. Oh, of course, and this has nothing to do with navigation, but uh, in here's my uh, I, I got a little. Uh, uh, emergency fire kit and then a small uh, fixed blade knife right here. Now this whole this whole unit here, I don't wear it 
necessarily around my neck. I'll bring this up just to show you guys. The way I pack it is like with a satchel. I just put it over my shoulder like this at an angle. Okay. And let's see if I can get that in the camera. Okay. And I carry it like this. Okay. Down low like that. And it's usually inside my jacket or uh, or or sweat top or whatever I'm wearing, uh, just so it doesn't move around all that much and it doesn't interfere with my pack or or anything else like that. All right, let's get the camera together <laughs> or anything else like that. So I'll just take it off for now. And it's quite comfortable. It's not heavy at all. Uh, course two, another useful tool in navigation is. Uh, once I've taken my bearing or I'm looking at the map, uh, navigating just by map, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sometimes get to a point like up on a ridge and it's all wooded and all this sort of stuff and you can't really tell what's down there because you know it's, it's like five, six hundred meters or a uh, thousand meters, mile, whatever away. So I like to scope it out. I like to scope it out with my, uh, with my binos and uh, just check on just check on ground features and uh, and take a look ahead because uh, you can't necessarily tell everything by just reading a map uh, sometimes contour lines are so close together like two, two, two of them will two of them will uh, almost cross each other like this but it looks like the same it looks like the same one uh, and you have a cliff yeah it's happened a couple times <laughs> uh, <laughs> So I just like to scout out the the the, the country in front of me. Uh, it just makes sense to me. And something uh, I haven't noticed many people mentioning is uh, is a good pair of good pair of shades. I use the Helly Hansen ones. Um, it's not because I want to look cool or anything. It's just that they're more durable. They're actually a safety glass. Uh, they're, they're they're actually safety glasses. Um, so they're, they're they're a little more durable, a little more scratch resistant. And so forth. Um, right over here, I'm starting to sound like Justin Trudeau. Uh, uh, um, um, uh. But <laughs> I also carry a little bit of uh, thin cotton string with me um, to 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 measure distances on 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 the map with. So I'm sure any of you guys out there who've done any nav any nav stuff, you can either use this or you can or you can use a pair of uh, a a, a, a small pair of scissor calipers, I think that's the right term for them, uh, to measure your distances. So you go point A, point B like this, or or you follow the road, you know, you follow the road kind of deal on the map. Of course, it's flat, and you wind everything around, and then straighten it out and put it down on your put it down on your scale and see how far it is. That kind of thing. All right, guys. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you, and uh, everybody, you take care. Okay, bye.